through with what's for dinner. Tonight we're going to be recreating the sandwich from the movie Spanglish, which is an Adam Sandler movie, but more notably, it is a Thomas Keller creation. And it was made for the movie, something salty with a beer at the end of the night for a chef. And what we have here, we're going to be using sourdough bread. This is Pepperidge Farm. Uh, thick cut bacon. This is Smithfield thick cut. And then also four tomatoes. These are off the vine. And the original recipe calls for Monterey Jack. My local grocery store didn't have it. So what we're using is pepper jack tonight. And also it doesn't call for monster cheese, but I'm using this orange rind monster cheese. It calls for uh, butter lettuce, which again, they also didn't have. So I'm using romaine, one egg, and I'm using Hellman's mayonnaise. Any mayonnaise that you like. I wanna fire up my griddle, I'm gonna toast up some bread and we'll be right back. So I've got my bread toasted up, my sourdough, and then I've got my bacon on, and then we'll uh, go ahead and put the egg on. Once we get the cheese in basically a salamander, uh, I'm using a toaster oven. So, But if, if you don't know who Thomas Keller is, check him out. He owns the hardest restaurant to get into in America called the French Laundry. And he was Anthony Bourdain's favorite chef. So definitely check him out. And check out the movie, uh, Spanglish, with uh, Adam Sandler. They're ready for a flip. This recipe is a little less about the cooking process, but more about the building of the sandwich. Okay, the bacon has crisped up. Just gonna get it off here. We'll be right back with the egg. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. So the biggest thing is building these sandwiches. And I've got my monster on the left and my pepper jack on the right. I'm going to head with my mayo. And this is going to be the bottom part of the sandwich. But I'm also going to do something different. On the top as well. This is also referred to as the best sandwich ever, especially for your chef. I can see late night why it would be. Go on with our tomatoes. And this is a signature thing but also any chef would do they get so used to the salt why not well black pepper And this is where you want to start layering. Normally, you go side to side, you just put it on there. But you want to make sure that the fat and the meat part are not touching each other. These bacon strips are so long, I'm just ripping them in half. But normally, it'd be too much meat. So you, you would want to stagger them. Nope. Almost screwed that up. Let's 
I'm gonna go with the egg right on top. And the egg and still having a runny yolk is the hardest thing to do. And then we're gonna go on with our lettuce. I can't wait for the cross section on this one. Oh, Mr. Creepy Face Cam Guy. <laughs> Please check us out on YouTube, also the Apple Podcast app, and wherever you find your media. Thanks for watching.